amazing people how you all doing it your girl the kids hope you're all good today's tutorial will be on how to make a one shoulder fitted dress and it's going to be beautiful and easy to make going over the fabric i'll be making use of before that are you subscribed make sure you subscribe tap on the notification bell to get a notification each time i put up a video follow me on instagram the key signatures our sewing group on facebook is sewing innovations try to search for it and join us there back to the fabric i will be using this fabric is slightly stretchy and if you are using this type of fabric you need a zipper it's not too stretchy unlike this looking at this you can see it is extremely stretchy if you are using this type of fabric you don't need a zipper at all all you have to do is to just sew it and put it on without a zipper or even slit it's going to look good so if you are using this type of fabric you don't need a zipper at all and it will be very easy to make especially for beginners guess what is happening very soon our advanced class module 2 is starting on the 18th of february yeah it's going to be very very hot we'll be talking about how to cut and sew a short jacket how to make a six pieces dress without joining a beautiful lace dress a, a girl's massive ball dress i'm telling you it's going to be beautiful if you are interested i'll put the contact link in the description box and also in the comment section i will be making use of this it's slightly stretchy it's going to have a zipper and also a slit at the back you can decide to have your slit in front sewing is all about spicing it up and great innovations so right now let's go over to the work table but this dress i'm making the one shoulder is going to be in form of a kimono which you will understand as we go on the total length of this dress is 60 it's actually 58 but i won't make it 60 with seam allowance inclusive let's get started getting to work remember i told you the total length of this dress is going to be 60 with seam allowance inclusive that is for the lower part what I'll do now is to divide into two because we'll cut the lower part first. And I'll have to remove 16 inches, which is for the upper bodies from this. So when I remove 16 inches, I will have 44 inches left. An essential thing you need to know is this. Remember I said this fabric is slightly stretchy. So you just have to note which side is stretchy. So that means this side is stretchy. This side is not can you see that so what i'll do now is that all the body circumferences will be towards the side so that means my bust hip all will be the circumferences will be towards this side that is the horizontal why the part that is not stretchy will be for the vertical measurement now to fold a larger circumference is 36 inches because this is slightly stretchy i'm going to use our exact measurement without seam allowance or you can just add half an inch seam allowance to it it depends on your preference now since it's 36 i will have to get half of that so i'll just check half of 36 is 18. so here i have about 20 which is okay so we trim up the excesses after doing that then i'll have to fold can you see that? Then I can start taking my measurements. Remember I said the lower part is going to be 44. With the end main allowance inclusive. So I'll just mark 44 from the lower side upward. Then mark this. So the remaining one will be okay for the upper body. So this is 44. I'll just make that into a straight line. measurement will start from here below let's start with our measurement then an essential measurement you need is from the waist to the hip the measurement of that that will be seven i'll make use of seven and the rest will be the length of the skirt Hope the chalk is visible so having done that now we insert the waist measurement for this type of fabric you don't need to add that to it because it's stretchy so there's no need for 
that. What I'll do now is this quarter of a waist measurement, the person I'm making this dress for is seven and three quarter. That is a waist circumference divided by four. So as I've said, because it is slightly stretchy, I'll use an exact measurement. And then when I'm sewing, I'll just sew in half an inch. Or better still, if you don't want it to be extremely tight, you can just, after the measurement, just add extra half an inch. But I'll just use an exact measurement. So now here I have seven and three quarter here. The next thing will be to go to the hip measurement. A hip measurement, as I said earlier on, is 36 inches. Quarter of that is nine inches. So this is what I have. Now for the lower parts. If you've been watching most of our skirt tutorial, we always want it tapered because it's a straight skirt. What I'll do now is to deduct one and a half or one inches from whatever measurement I have here to use at the lower part. Here I have now nine inches, then I move to the lower part. I can decide to make it eight inches or seven and a half. That totally, totally depends on your preference. This is what I have here. Now it's time to connect all the measurements. This is what I have now. Then I'll use my one meter ruler to connect from here downward. Now this is what we have. I'll just have to do this again so that it will be visible. Now you can see what we have. I hope it's visible this way. The next thing is to start cutting it out. Remember, I just cut out both the front and the back the same way. This is because I want the zipper by the side. So it will be very, very easy for you to make. And don't forget, we came in. You can come in either one inch or one and a half from here. By the time we want to sew all together, that is when I will have the slit to eat. So both the front and the back is the same. Now let's go to the upper part. I will now use this leftover fabric for the for the uh, upper part. And for this, I need 30 inches for the front. I'm going to explain how I got that 30 inches for the front, 30 inches for the back. So I'll just check because the stretchy part has to be along this way. So I'll just check this way and fold over. You need about two yards to make this, depending on how plum or slim you have. So let me check this. Yeah, I have 14, so it's not enough because I said I want 30 for the front, 30 for the back. So that will be 15, 15. So since it's not enough, I'm going to check this way because the upper part from the nape of the neck to the waist is 16. So I want to check if I'll have two 16 from here. So here I have, okay, that's good, 34, and I actually needed 32. So what I will do now is to cut 30 inches width from this side and also this side. So I'll have for the front and the back. Now I'm talking about the upper bodies. Remember I was talking about some measurements by 30, 15. Remember I told you that the one shoulder is going to be in form of a kimono. Yeah. So you need this measurement from your center back. Just take your measuring tape place it this way and then check wherever you want it to stop like for her it will be 15 inches so with seam allowance i could make it 15 and a half or 16. now let's go over to the work table now i already cut out the fabric for the upper parts remember i told you that 16 will be for the upper parts that is including seam allowance for the for the to join this to the skirt so 15 and a half, I'll use half an inch to join it to the skirt. So this is it, 16. This is my other ones. Now let's just 
let me take one of these although i will have to cut it together so to put it together it will be like this then for the one shoulder you can decide anywhere you want it to be you can maybe on the right or on the left that totally depends on you this is what i have then i'll fold it this way to start drafting the vital measurement i'll take now half of a ham hole which is seven inches which is here the, the next thing will be the boss point a boss point is 9.5 under our bust is 12 and a half. I'll make all this into a straight line. Going over it again, half of a ham hole bust point under the bust. You might be wondering why the bust point, because it will have a dart. Since it's a kimono style, a dart will give it more fitting. So that is why I want to add a dart to the upper part. So before we go over this place, let's just insert the three inches, eight inches standard. So this is the three inches, eight inches. I really want the chalk to be visible. That's why I'm going about it like that. Then I'll have to come down by one inch, which is here. Then I'll connect down here. So what I'll do now before I continue is to extend this line down here because we will we'll need it as we go on. Okay, that was good. Now the next thing is to insert the measurements. So, so the bust, half of our bust is nine, but quarter of our bust is what I actually mean. Our bust is also 36 inches, so quarter of that is nine inches. Remember, I told you I'm using the actual measurement. Then the waist, just a bit measured on the skirt, will be seven and three quarter. Let me just connect this first before we talk about the box pan. I'm really taking my time on this upper part because I want you to get everything. That's good. But remember, for this, I said we are going to add a dart to it. So what do I do? I will insert half of a boss pan, which is four. It will be here. Then I'll take half an inch on both sides. But these same four inches, I will insert on the boss point. So that was why I inserted this boss point line. Draw a straight line. I'll come down by one inch so I came down by one inch here I'll take half an inch on both sides half inch half inch then I'll have to connect to this point this will be the data I'll be taking in Since the dart has been marked out, since the dart has been, since the dart has been taken in now, remember we will take this in. So we have to have this one inches back down here. So what I will do now is to add one inch here. Don't make that mistake. Then connect it back here. Now this is our real seam line. Can you see that? So now going to the upper part. Remember I told you from the center back, the measurement will be 15 to where the sleeve will hang. So what we'll do now is to measure the 15 inches here. Eight inches is yes, because this is the actual center back. Because remember we measured 18, yeah, eight inches. So eight is here. So from here now we'll just measure 15 inches. But because of the seam allowance, I can just make it 16 or 15 and a half. That totally depends on you. So from there now, we have to connect down to the area around the underboss. Just come down from the underboss. This is the boss point line, half of the handhold, boss point under the boss. So from this point, just come up by one inch, which is here. Then I can connect straight down. Just connect this way. This is 
what I have. So this is what I will cut out. When cutting this part, I'll just leave some allowances to join into the to the back panel. So make sure it is well laid. So I'll just trim it or leave in little allowance. This is to join it together. Okay, good. Now we have to open it up since it's a one shoulder dress. Now this is what I have. So to determine wherever you want the one shoulder is, you can decide that. So you can either cut it this way or that way, but I will just cut it this way. So this is it. This is the armhole area. I'll just connect that because when curving, we need to note that area. open it up so opening it up, it up this is what I have so make sure it is well aligned now this is half of the ham hole where we inserted our bust measurements because it's a one shoulder you can decide any where you want it to be if you want it to be on the right you will have to cut it this way but if you want it to be on the left you have to cut it this way so what is the next thing to do? I'll have to note this three inches point because I'll start cutting from there because it's eye neck. So let me take my measuring tape. This is the main point. I can see that because of the crease. I'll just measure three inches. So it is here. This is three inches. So I'll ha now have to connect it from here down here. And I'll have to trim this off. Because remember, we inserted our bust measurement, so our bust measurement is still intact. So I'll connect from here down here, then trim this off. This is it. Just leave about half an inch up from the ham hole area. Just hope the chalk is visible. Can you see that now? I haven't done that. This is what we need. Then I'll have to cut this way straight down. Isn't this beautiful? This is what we have. It will now be time for us to sew a dress. We will have to start with the skirt. Now we need to insert the slits. So just take one for the front, one for the back. Let me just work with this. Fold it over. I want the length, uh, the slits to be 20 inches. It depends on how high you want the slits to be. Just make sure you fold it well. Can you see that? I'll have to measure 20 inches, which is quite okay. 18 to 20 is okay. Then I'll mark this point. I'll now have to cut, make a slit down to this point. do next is to take to my sewing machine to just take about a quarter of an inch in and sew it all around but if you cannot do that just use a bias strip or if you have leftover of this fabric to finish it up now i'll fix this slit so this will be for the back let me just remove this way to get a better picture of it so can you see that i just took a little in can you see it's so neat this is what we have now see that then for the front and back bodies 
So since I said I want the slit to be on the left, so this is how it will look. I'm taking the darts. Can you see that? The next thing now is to sew the upper part to the lower part. So this will be for the front. I'll have to take the skirt for the front. The front one has no slits. So I'll have to place it this way, right side facing each other. And I'll have to take in half an inch. Can you see everything matches? You're taking your dart so well. So I'll take half an inch and do the same to this other one. Now I've joined the bodies to the skirts. This is what it looks like. So this is for the front and the back is the same way. The next thing now is to join the shoulder, the bodies to the skirts. This is what it looks like. So this is for the front and the back is the same way. The next thing now is to join the shoulders. Okay, we have to join the shoulders. So this is the back on it. I'll take to the sewing machine again and join the shoulders. Just quarter of an inch is quite okay. After joining that, the next thing is to take in the neckline. So by the time I join it, it will become one. So the, the same way I take in the slit is the same way I'm going to take this in all through from the front to the back. Then I'll come down here to, to take the slit area, stopping at this point that goes in and out. So I'm going to just take this in. Let me do that and show you. I've joined the shoulder. Can you see that? After joining the shoulder, then I took the neckline in. Then the sleeve area, and I stop at the part that goes inward. The next thing now is to sew the sides. Remember, we use the exact measurement. And I told you, you put sew in half an inch or one inch. So I will, I think I'll sew in half an inch because it's slightly stretchy. So I'll just sew in one inch. So what do I do? On this side that has the sleeve, I will just start from that innermost part, take one inch all down. For this part, you just have to note where you want the zipper to stop. For me, I want the zipper to stop around here or here. Then make sure you are using a matching zipper. Now, from here, I'm going to sew it down, leaving this part open. So let me just sew the sides and show you how it looks. Now, I've taken the sides also here. Let me just turn it to the right side for you to see how it looks. Looking at it, you can see it's so beautiful and nice. I'll just use a lukewarm iron to just give it a good press. The next thing now is to attach the zipper. I'm using an invisible zipper. So I'll just fix it in here and then show you the final result. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Can you see our dress? So nice. On the other side, this is what it looks like. So beautiful. I fixed the zipper. Let me just show you the zipper. This is what the zipper looks like. And I used an invisible zipper, so it's so close. Let me just open it up. So can you see that? So I used an invisible zipper. So I'm just going to show you the result of this dress. This is the result of the dress. You can see it is so beautiful and you just need to try this out. If my tutorial on how to make this has been helpful,